All right, guys, we're out here. We're gonna test the Arma Limitless. We're gonna first run it on a 6S pack and just see what it does, and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna start to throw on the head cam, and hopefully the old GoPro 3 is going to give us something worth watching. So let's get into that. All right, we're gonna take a look here, see if we got GPS, and it looks like we do. Not an ideal way of getting a GPS onto the radio control car. Um, but it'll have to do for today. Uh, let's get it plugged in and fired up. This is the very first time getting the car rolling under its own power where the motor is driving the wheels. I did the trim adjustment at home in the garage and it seems like the car here in this very first pass is tracking very well. So I have immediate confidence that we're able to get a decent pass right here, very first run. All right, this will be the first first pass. success and we didn't open her up fully and we got 107 107 kilometers an hour there on a 6s pack and i don't think we came anywhere close to top speed so we'll go out for another one and here we come pretty sure that hit top speed on success I can actually take a lot of the uh, endpoint I have way too much steering in here than I need so I'm gonna dial some of that out just to make sure that I don't get a little too crazy here we'll let it cool down although it should be fine hundred and thirteen on six so we're gonna go be okay with this steering adjustment we made, but the travel for steering, I'm gonna dial this down. So we're gonna see what that looks like. Just gonna check to make sure I can get the car turned around in about half of the road width. Anything tighter than that is essentially useless to me. I don't need it. Okay. Let's go for another pass. You can see there's a little bit bumpy in the middle. I try and stay off to the one side there. See if that works out for us in this pass here. Okay, coast is clear. Let's get on it. It's good to point out that I am using 50% Expo on the steering and I'm not using any type of control system. For example, a gyro on the steering or any delay device on the throttle. And what do we see there? 135, 135 kilometers an hour on our 6S pack. And how much more do we need? We need another 30 kilometers an hour with this thing in order to get it uh, at the 100 miles per hour. So I think we're ready to let the motor cool and we'll take our temperature test here. And from there, what we'll do is we'll get the 8S pack in and see what we can do on eight. Everything here is going to be logged so we can unplug so we have that data. And we're gonna get the data now for our 8S run. Red. red. Let's see if we can squish all that. All right, I'd imagine now it's gonna get a little squirrely on me. We'll see if we can beat the 135. All right, so here we go. We're gonna try for the 
beating 135, approach our way up to 100 miles. Just get a turn around here. I noticed something weird happening right here where I let off the throttle and when the trigger returns to neutral, it applies brake for some reason. This did not happen every single time. It only happened a few times in weird situations. Still have to figure out what's going on. Okay, let's we're clear. Bring it back, definitely felt faster. I don't know if that's 100 miles an hour. I would say it's probably gonna be like 145, 150 kilometers there. I didn't hold it for very long. I'm trying to avoid it, the sewers in the middle and a bunch of other random stuff. It looks like our GPS is a little feeling it there. Have to adjust this guy. We don't wanna lose our GPS. 138, so yeah. It's probably a little bit quicker there, but I didn't hold onto the speed for a while. I need to let the GPS read. This is an older GPS too, so I noticed that the results are very slow to show up. Took forever to lock onto the satellites, probably about 10 minutes. All we can do is give ourselves more space. More space is always good for these top speed runs. So I'm way out there now. Okay, so I'm got straight. Let's get into it. That felt pretty good. That felt like it definitely hit the 150 mark for sure. Not quite sure it's 160 on the GPS. It may have actually hit the 160, which is our 100 mile per hour goal. Let's find out. One forty five. So we're slowly climbing up there. We still gotta hold it for a little longer. I'm just worried about that sewer. That sewer down there is gonna catch me. It's gonna bite me. And we're straight. Now let's, let's take her. And we got lift off. It's right at this moment where I realized I probably should have not taken the two lips that were on the front end of this car. I honestly did not think I needed them, but here it clearly proves me wrong. Max speed, 164 kilometers an hour. So there we have it, we actually hit first day. 100 miles an hour, obviously quite easy with this setup. Unfortunately, we weren't able to stay off the ground, but you know what? Sometimes success comes with a little bit of failure too. Oh, well, there you go, guys. We took it up to 100 miles an hour right on our first 20 minutes of actually running it. This was literally the first day that I actually put power to the motor and speed control and actually took it up to any sort of speed. Now we just gotta dial it out. We know that aerodynamically we have the wrong setup. It is going to fly away at a, such a, a relatively small or low speed at 100 miles an hour and we'll dial that out quite easily, quite successfully and then we're off to who knows what from there. As always, like the video. If you do, don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.